Sparta. By the time Imperator starts, they've been reduced to so little, they can't even bring themselves to oil up anymore. But today, that ends. We're going to be focusing on pure military and fighting constantly outnumbered in order to secure our homelands and ensure we're constantly oiling up. Along the way, we're forced to fight Epirus, Macedon, and even the Egyptians. So let's see if the Spartans are slippery enough to survive. The glory days are long over. Uh, it looks like a Spartan force of 22,000 men were defeated by a 40,000 strong Macedonian army. And that was it. But not necessarily. As Sparta, we have lost Messene and the Helots. Sparta would never again at this point in history be uh, any sort of real power. But I'm going to change that. We have ourselves a custom mission tree, uh, courtesy of the Invictus mod. And we need to consolidate all of Laconia. Ooh! Ambitious Sparta, month of popularity, martial and finesse. Excellent. We've been ravaged by the Thebans, ignored by the Macedonians, and ridiculed by the Diadochi. It's time to put an end to the limits imposed on Sparta by others, and once again rise to the position we deserve the defender of Greece. So this is us. No foreign relations. We have a neutral stance. We're going to switch over to a bellicose one. Everyone's going to hate us, but it's worth it. We're going to get some claims because we're going to try and get uh, the helots under our control. And let's get our ideas. So it's two military ones, so morale of armies sounds good. Get some recovery speed. We don't actually have enough for a religious idea. I don't usually play as, um, as whatever this is. What is this? <laughs> Legitimacy. It just looks like a monarchy. Is this our heir? Yeah, I think it's just a straight monarchy. We're a tiny nation with only one province. That's a bit of a concern. And everyone's scorned. Yeah, we don't exactly start in the best position here. Okay. Um, I'm going to go pure military expansion. I mean, it's it's Sparta, right? So, yeah, so some discipline. I'm going to get uh, a helmet thing. Let's get some professional training. Uh, and as part of that, we're going to get ourselves some aggressive expansion impact reduction. We'll stack those. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. National commerce income. I mean, that's kind of important for, you know, money. We're going to be making absolutely no money, but I'm going pure discipline. We don't need money where we're going. We'll pry it from the dead corpses of our enemies. All right, what do we produce here? Let's see, iron. That's going to help our heavy infantry. Cool, let's do that. We can import two more things. Uh, let's get some more local import routes as well. What does wine do? Each of these, for those who don't know, has like a special uh, bonus that it gives us. Spearman defense sounds good. Let's get that. Uh, and we're going to have two more. So might as well grab some grain and then wait. So we're going to wait for this to finish. And then we're going to get claims on the surrounding areas. Fortunately, there's a defensive league here. How many levers do we have? For really not that many. <laughs> this is... Mm. We're really going to have to gamble that our troops are genuinely just better. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not feeling confident. We gain 250, but lose 2,000 manpower. No, that's that's a massive... That's all of our manpower. We can't really afford that. I know we'd trickle it back, but especially considering we're about to go to war. I think that's a bad idea. Okay, then taking it to war with Macedon. That's good for us. Okay, cool. With the gods at our size, the helots are powerless to stop us. We have our claims. Okay, is there anything else we can do first? Five more buildings, that's going to be the tool side of things. What is this? Military experience. And that's going to give us... Ooh, spearman discipline. Okay, we need 10 military experience though. That's. I mean, it's, it's kind of ticking up, so maybe we could wait for that, but... I don't know, man. It's a lot of people to fight. It's a lot. I'll do it with this, with the discipline side of things. We get ourselves heavy infantry and some discipline. I mean, heavy infantry is already good. Uh, it's just... We need some... I don't know what else we can get. Nah, screw it. We're going in. We're Spartans, damn it! We do... That's a lot fewer troops than I thought was gonna be there, but that's okay. Okay, our king has 12, though, in uh, in military, which is pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, so we are actually phenomenal. I've got 122% discipline. Uh, let's see. They're gonna use bottleneck. What's, what's effective against bottleneck? I don't want to switch out from Bosman because we're kind of suited to it. They have a lot of troops. Fortunately, we can stack white people. <laughs> Cannot afford to get to war of attrition, though. <laughs> My god, our troops are beautiful. Okay, we are heavily outnumbered here. And still, Sparta holds strong. It's close, though. It's nasty. 
Dude, our troops are so good. Oh, we also immediately stack wiped another another lot. All right, good. Clemnios is leaving. Okay. Sure. I think he was a pretender. So we need the Agades, need another one, and the your opponents. There you go. Okay, we do need a second to replenish, but I mean, I need to take this fort as well. Oh boy, here they come. Oh, or they're not. Are they leaving us alone? That'd be fantastic if they are. Maybe we can get working on this. Five more buildings. This lot of claim me. All right, well, sure. Go for it. See how that goes. Okay, we have uh, an efficiency of 12%, which means I want to bump up this because we already have minus 20% research points, so might as well increase our cash. Don't want to fall behind those, so I think I'm going to build an academy. It is going to increase our uh, civilization value as well as make our nobles a bit happier. Okay, let's not let these guys have any respite. Gain five stability in 1,500. Oh, yes, please. Uh, yeah, please. It's actually exactly what we need. Okay, they have split up a bit here. But we're still massively outnumbered. They took one of our uh, provinces and one of our people with it. They keep on coming in one by one. Which is very fortunate for me. Alright, I need more battles. Literally negative three away. I need to win one more battle. Before the siege. There's a victory. Okay, so that's the first lot dealt with. Very dicely, but that's them dealt with. Honestly, barely any gross expansion either. Helots wants more, so we just gain slaves. That's nice. <laughs> okay, I think we still have more claims. Do we have more claims? Let's see. The mode, let's see. Map mode. I don't think we do. Okay. So we need to go down the path of Olympus. We need to take this province here. Sure. Reincorporating Messina. We need five more buildings there. Sparta also needs more buildings. I currently need 500 food. We've already done that. 10 slaves. Okay, that's all building up slowly. Sure. Average Freeman happiness has to be a little bit higher. And then we can get some extra discipline and combat bonus permanently. So let's manipulate our masses a little bit here. So we can import. What are the Freeman like? If I just bring in some honey, would that do it? I need a little bit more. Uh, let's get you some wine as well. And that will do it. Yes. Recruiting the Skirti. The Skirti I want to be loyal to the Spartan cause living in the barren hills in northern Laconia and southern Acadia. I did not know that. But out of fear after Theban, hand, Theban hands, they have chosen to stay out of our conflicts. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can get that going then. And we can also take an idea. Religious ideas, civilization level, integration, or rule of popularity. Let's go for uh, civilization level. Ooh, employ Carsis. Yes, please. Nice, lose 15. We get two Freemen. All right, that's a building there. Hmm, oh, tax office is actually a good idea. Let's do that. I think Lepron's currently fighting and kind of losing. So we need to get a claim on them. But we also need political influence. Oh, nice. Okay, we did it. So we've got discipline uh, for our spearmen, which doesn't make up a huge amount. Oh, gain stability. I do like gaining stability, but I like gaining money a bit more at the moment. But we have five spearmen and five heavy infantry. Let's see our... Where are you? Military traditions. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of spearmen. Spartan resurgence. Building slots and local citizen happiness, and we get five stability. One brick at a time. So now we need food here. And we need gold. At least one territory with 10 slaves and a farming settlement building. Okay. Well, the best way to get slaves is war, right? So, I don't think I have anyone with traits to put in here. So, we're just going to have to suffer really low civic advances. Or, oh, sorry, uh, uh, technological advances for a while. Alright, so me, it's a range of marriage. Blood of the Aegeids. That sounds cool. So, let's, um, is that our sister? Oh, this better not be our sister. This one's a much better candidate, though. Let's go for him. Oh, huh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to pick up two levels, as it were, of dates. It's going to give us some national commerce income a little bit higher. A little bit more leather, actually. But there's none anywhere. I'm going to get this move slave costs as well. Because that's going to help us a lot. When I think I'm going to shift everyone into this province because they have five slaves. There's five buildings here as well, but I don't have the people for it. I mean, they're important wine for me, but um, which is fine. So we're just going to ruin them. Oh, the territory gets a granary. Sweet. That works. One fewer building I have to build. Well, I still have to get the population to build it, but still. 
Right, let's go ahead and do this. I should always raise your levies first, but I'm still in the like CK3 mindset. Oh, why'd you declare war on me? <laughs> You're in Crete. <laughs> what is this? Why, why would you do this? I don't know how many ships you have, and frankly, I it would be a bad idea to me to try and find out, right? You probably have more than me. Let's have a look. You have. I can't see how many. I can't see how many that is. Trying to maneuver the everything around so I can see it. No, I cannot tell for the life of me what that is. It looks like four. I mean, do you reckon I could? I reckon I could land some troops. Oh no, there's a fight. I guess it's gonna be 50-50, but we have no naval traditions whatsoever. So um, uh, I don't want to lose any ships. I'm gonna retreat. Maybe if I land troops behind. Oh, cool. We've got a message from Zeus because of a, a comet. That's nice. So we've got 10 stability and we get only Megalopolis, which is our province. Ooh, round of armies, yes, please. Uh, we'll continue it. Delphi is threatened. Oh, God. That's not good. Okay, that is a province gained. The path to Olympia is secured, which gives us... Huh. We get Spartan Guard, which gives us cohort starting experience and increased population assimilation speed, but luck of, um, the local slave output goes really badly. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. You know what? Let's do it. Um, and let's... I mean, I'd love to switch over to something else, but hopefully they'll, they'll just assimilate. You want a white piece? No? Cool. My hair is at this, like, unwieldy stage, uh, that I can't do anything with it. If I split it apart, I look like I've got a middle parting. I can kind of like sweep it a little bit, but that like that's that's not great either. It looks like I'm trying to go for an emo look. Um, uh, so we move anyway. Back back to this. I really want like a, just a white piece so I can crack on with my day here. This is all about fortification and that sort of thing. So I really want to. I really want to do that. Is there anyone here that isn't part of this massive defensive league? As far as I'm aware, no. They they are all. Oh god, you're guaranteed by Macedon, and you have guys in the league. Okay, I beat them once. Can I beat them again? I mean, they'll be weaker this time and I'll be stronger. Oh, God, allied to Epirus. Okay. We need to get out of this war first. We can put 1,500 men on these ships. Or 1,000 men, sorry. No, I think it's 1,500. Yeah, it's 1,500. He only has 2,000. And we have our, our God King here. Okay, we'll be given access. Okay, that's 1,500. If I can get one more lot ferried over, we've got a good shot at actually taking Crete here. Or at least parts of Crete. Why would you declare this war? We're doing it. Straight, and they got archers. Oh, no. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, another innovation. Is there anything else I could take in terms of the military? Well, we could get a legion right now. But we don't have the money for that, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Heavy cavalry discipline. We do have a decent amount of heavy cavalry. Fort defense could be an idea. <laughs> I mean, we do need money, to be fair. All right, we're going to need some money, so let's start going down the tree of import values and stuff. All right, let's take our troop, our ships home. I don't think getting them involved in naval battle is going to be too helpful for us. I mean, peace is imminent, but like, I mean, we could white peace here, but I mean, you started this war, I'll finish it. I want your land now. A foothold in Crete sounds pretty good to me. No allies? Might as well. Okay, we have run out of food, so um, we kind of need to get this done quickly, chaps. Chaps! Losing 200 men a day in like a month here, and we get like one month tick. You've got to do it. Thank you. All right, we're going to take Crete and expand our levies. We have ridiculously high stability. We do unfortunately make next to nothing, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of worse. All right. So we need one more building here. At least two of the following. Province of Laconia has freed Hello state infrastructure or heroic freeze. So is there any province in Laconia, right? Because I need one here. Okay, so I've been building ahead of my uh, of my tree a little bit just because I wanted the, the satisfaction of doing everything at once. Okay, so we can do the Sanctuary of Artemis. So we get ourselves a new deity, which is cool. I don't know what that deity is. Ooh. So what's my current one? National Citizen Happiness. I can change that out for tech investment, build cost, national commerce income off the bat. 
It'll cost me 15 stability. Stability's going down anyway. Let's see if there's anything else that's more worth it. So I did get Artemis, but she's she's okay. I should have spent the money, but I wanted to complete the tree. Laconian food, so we get loads more food for 10 years. We get fortifying uh, Kaivanta, which is going to give us uh, some Fremen. I like calling it Fremen because it annoys people because it's, you know, dune related. Macedonians tried to take the arrow from us and hand it to another neighbors, but what now, once again, it's under Spartan rule. So we take that. Reincorporating Messenia, Messene. Originally part of Sparta, Messina was forcibly taken by the warlord of Thebes, who found a new city to try and hinder our growth. So we are going to grab ourselves some stuff because of that. Now we just need some more ships. And a size army size of at least 10. If I do that, because does it go 6 out of 10? Go oh, away. Ex expanding the infrastructure. Oh, yep, so we can do this immediately. Spartan men. Now we just need our port. So we need five more ships. That'll be 25. There we go. And then we'll have successfully sorted out our area. This province occasionally gets uh, some food issues, but that's fine. Uh, we're importing a lot of wheat. Can't actually import anything else. Like, there's no goods really around. All right, Spartan port's been completed. And then Laconian strength. With all Laconian honor rule, we've proven to those who doubted the Lacedonian, Lacedaemonians wrong. Sparta once again become the major power of the Pelop. Pella of this area of Greece and in real time all of Greece. So we get month of military experience and manpower recovery speed. Awesome. Despite the troubles of the last century, we are once again rising to prominence. Be it Athens, Thebes, the Diadochi, or any other threat, they will not be able to stand in our way. Okay, protect the Peloponnese. Then we have a next one here. This is going to give us claims on everyone. Let's do it. We're going to do, send scouts out to chart the Arcadian Valley. And in the meantime, we're going to pick up a slightly easier target. We're going to embark all of our troops now. We're going to head over here. And we are going to start consolidating Crete. Oh, that's annoying. Hooray has come after us as soon as we declared war. i got to give it to them. The AI is smart. Fortunately, we have forts on both those areas. What I'm going to do as well is bump up our... Fort maintenance. Get some added bonuses there. Primitive attack only makes sense. Apparently, the Acadians have started preparing their troops and might pose a threat to Sparta. Yeah, I mean, the people are already here. So, we get claim on Olympia because it's a well known fact that Zeus favors Sparta. Things are kind of spiraling out of control here. We've got to fight two armies now. Okay, we did it. Oh, God, there's, there's another fort I need to take. Okay. All right, we got this. Okay, one's running. Let's see if the second one run. Fighting a war on two fronts is bad enough. Fighting a war on uh, two separate land masses, also very hard. British backing is going to get us a claim on Argos, but I'm going to save my money for now. This is cool because it's going to get us to conquer this area first. All right, he's still not going after the rest of Crete. Okay, we're fighting here. Trust in the ability of our troops. Ooh, they've gone for skirmishing. Okay. So bottleneck's not going to work against them. So it's a good idea to keep an eye out. Skirmishing's bad against deception, but honestly, shock action is probably our best bet. Because it doesn't get a malice against um, skirmishing. Let's see if we can go for a stack wipe here. Immediately. Okay, and now we just siege this area down. We're going to have enough military experience soon to be able to grab ourselves a tradition. There's one there. I'm actually kind of lucky they declared war on us. Means I don't have to deal with the league. Because that's only a defensive league, they're not allies. And that's a stack wipe. So win this siege, clear out these two areas. Antigonids are dead, it looks like. Uh, it looks like the Egyptians and the Seleucids are also going at it. Rome is also expanding, not as fast as I thought. Epirus doing strong. Epirus is going to be like the, the sort of next immediate threat we're going to find here. Ah, we have a son. Good job, son. Well done. I like how the game always suggests you just take as much as you can. Excellent. Rock of Ages. Okay, sweet. We now have two more provinces. We gain generous because we are lovely. All right. Too expensive in terms of the forts, but it means we can get rid of this fort. Every time I claim more territory, I get, I get rid of a fort. See, I'm going to get rid of this one now. At least that's the plan. So I can get rid of this fort because that one will, be, will protect it as a city. Uh, obviously, it's also a city, but yeah, this one controls the area. 
Do I get rid of the foot in Sparta? I mean, it's pretty protected, so I, I I don't really see. Yeah, I don't. I want. To, I don't. I don't need him. There we go. Now we take out this lot. And why stop there? I'm taking the rest of creep. Even though, to be honest, these like lot might be a little bit much for us. Yeah, they got more troops, but we're Spartans. Damn it! It's kind of sick that we can be out number two to one and just immediately take him out. Yeah, hey, look, he changed his tactics up because I figured he changed his to shock on the basis of what we saw. Uh, and so I switched out to bottleneck. Those are painful losses. Uh, I don't think he has a four here, so I'm going to chase him down. They immediately start folding. Rather than repeat, retreat past the fort. They are going to retreat past the fort. Okay. Oh, are they? Come on. It's in the retreating phase that will actually do the damage. It's what? He's retreated past me and then left. Send on the navy to help blockade. Manpower is a very precious resource, though, and I really don't want to... Okay, nice. Winning on 14% is fantastic. I'm going to siege down the rest of these lands because then I can just sort of take slaves and put them in my heartlands. I'd rather have slaves over here or else. Okay. Wait for him to get hurt a little bit. We'll go for him. Yeah, he switched back to his bottleneck this time. He just doesn't have as many heavy infantry as me, which is very useful. Please stack wipe. Thank you. Okay, now we just finish off this last one. So uh, that pirate navy might have just wiped my entire fleet so so that's fun um we're trapped here <laughs> it's actually, okay okay right i'll rebuild my fleet that's very annoying okay we do finish off the cretans though and i'll say our aggressive expansion is absolutely minimal I'm just gonna get this done now i think what we're gonna do is build up a navy and get rid of all the forts here because most of the guys we're fighting aren't aren't gonna have a navy they're also going to be inferior to us, navally speaking. So, that's going to save us a lot of money. Ah, military tradition. Perfect. Greek kingdom or polis traditions. So, this one's going to give us light cavalry or court starting experience. Spearman morale. That's give us a load of population. And morale of armies off the bat. And then we get spearman offense. This feels more like Spartan to me. Yeah, we're already making way more money. Ha! Ah, I lose 1,500. I only had 50 men left. And now we're getting brave, which is actually a sick trait. This 37 year old has done really well. And we get a bunch of slaves. I lost an eye, which is kind of rough, but still. Looks cool. Gain five tyranny. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Ooh. It seems the local priest tired of Argive lies and religious attitudes and have found favorable elements for our claim to the land. That's very convenient for us. So, can I build any mines or anything? No, no mines. Build another tax office in Sparta. Maybe some mills as well. So yeah, I think the navy's gonna protect this region. Religious advance. What should I do for... Hmm, we don't actually have any uh, tributaries or vassals or anything else like that. So, hmm. Get some more national tax. Uh, and another capital import route, I think, next. That's gonna happen literally next month. Or the month after that. There we go. Okay, we can grab some leather, which actually is really useful to us because it gives us spearman defense. And can't get any more furs. Okay. Could start getting some stone. And immediately my leather went. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. They know what it means when they give me le leather. Right, let's just start getting some uh, some cattle then. Get rid of the, the rocks. I got my mission trees telling me to go for this area, but I really want to shore up Crete first. I just think it's important to not have an enemy on this island. Almost lost 40 stability there because I was declared whilst they had uh thing um whilst they had uh, I had military access, which is terrible. Glad I did not do that. So far, pretty successful reign for this individual. What's his name? Arius Agiad, Arius the First. Big A, as I like to call him. Leads his troops into battle every time. And I'll tell you what, that first war was a was a blinder. Always go discipline. Wait, do you want to swap anything else? Uh, I think I'm, I'm enjoying... The Legion maintenance cost isn't really that helpful. This could be better. Switch out to Her uh, Heracles, because we still get the discipline, but we get unintegrated culture happiness plus 4%. I think I'm going to do it. Costly on that side of things, so what we'll do is we're going to kill a pig. Let's probably start paying my navies. <laughs> That's what got him killed last time. There we go. We take the province. So what cultures do we actually have? I mean, it's all Hellenic, so I... <laughs> 
Actually, there's, there's Lacedaemonians. I just you just can't see it. But no, that that that's us. So we've got Cretans are a bit of an issue because they're pretty uh, they're pretty upset. Um, but we can do hmm, protection against torture. Eh, I'll leave it as this for now. We're not really suffering too much in terms of province loyalty. In fact, they're actually pretty loyal. Mainly because oh, it's because I'm I'm doing it and I'm a great governor. I thought I gained brain damage for a second. That was terrifying. Okay, we're going to switch this out to cultural assimilation. The province of Crete. Might as well do this for now. Bring your lot back and let's start plotting here. So declaring war on you calls in a couple of different people. Mm -hmm. So what do I have claims? I assume on the... On this Peloponnesian region. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be Argos, doesn't it? The Tom... Tom Kingdom. Okay. Fortunately, I can get around that by declaring war on this guy instead. But that's that's horrible. Uh, could you raise the level a little faster? Yeah, in your own time. It's not like we're fighting for our survival here. Christ. They immediately flaked. Okay, I kind of want to split up a little bit. If possible. Uh, I don't look like it's going to be possible. Okay, we're going to increase our maintenance. Get ourselves full morale. I really wish I had the extra 5% discipline now. Ah, we don't need it. They also have 117% discipline. Christ. But they have... Yeah, I think our composition is just better. They do have a lot of heavy infantry. So we can't blitz through this. Hopefully they go around and fight in her area. The record can blockade him. He still has low morale. I mean, if I win the siege, I'm going straight in. Come on, do it. Yes. Straight in. Oh my god, they run immediately. I like it. there are large um, ships you can get that uh, can just delete forts. You just click a button and it's just, yeah, it's at Port Assault. Mega Polyreme and they'll, it will lose a fort. It'll literally just delete the fort. I don't know how it does that. I don't know, like, it's not like we have cannons, but yeah. Uh, build time could be good. Build cost. Or build time and build cost. So let's do that. That seems pretty good. I want to start earning enough money such that I can get together a legion. We're kind of small right now, but I think it'd be a good idea. Okay, we win this. I actually need to reshuffle around these guys. Uh, the better their um, opinion of me, the higher or more political influence I get. Are you losing? You got attrition, aren't you? Let's see. 6,931. Well, I'm not spending 1,500 water at war. Uh, nope, they're not getting anything, so let's just go in for them. This looks so badass with the one eye. So who am I fighting, actually? Uh, all of this lot. Alright, well, they, they're trickling down one by one. We might really get a stack wipe here. Alright, we can catch them before the month tick. And we do not. But we do have more men now. Uh, the battle can last just a little bit longer. Yeah, no, there's no, no point in this. Um, we'll just wait now. Oh, we just buy slaves. Yeah, okay. The house of money. I was about to say the words, I like slaves, but like, I don't know if that's a good idea. Another successful victory there, and the final one. Ha, huh, looks like our max amount is 6,000 now, instead of 6,500. wonder what that is. Please just finish them off, get there before the month tick. There we go. There we go. How is the province of Crete? We do have free investments, um, so I think... Yeah, local import routes twice. Produce a lot of... Uh, Olives, apparently. No one wants to buy our stuff. I mean, you can't see the stripes very well, but we have occupied all these areas. That should be 100%, yeah. Five aggressive expansion. That's the most we've taken all game. And we become a regional power. Which gives us another capital import route. Uh, provincial loyalty doesn't, isn't helped, and their wages go up. But we get to complete a mission. The rival in Argolis, we've destroyed it. Uh, local manpower, but we get ourselves happiness, which is nice. I need Cletor. Where's Cletor? How do I stop them from being highlighted? Ooh. We need another family. Uh, Onomastides. Sounds cool. Alright, can we import any more stuff now that we're original power? We can import leather. Please give me leather. Uh, can we get furs? Not quite. Sorry, my... How much do I spend on forts? Ten. What? How? Argos has three levels of forts. Well, two levels, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, uh, that's protected, so we can start inching our way over here. Get rid of you. I don't know, the Argos Fort's kind of good. 
Oh my god, I have to fight the Tolmate Kingdom, aren't I? Ugh. We got just a province here. You are now protected. So now we've got one, two, three, four forts. Frankly, I don't need two fort levels of forts. One is fine. Does that get rid of a lot of the deficit? Yes, it does. And let's get some more import routes. More civic advances. I need to start going back to martial advances. Get some heavy cavalry discipline. We do rely on heavy cavalry, so that works. I have to finish off the rest of these guys. Allied with the Tolmate Kingdom. Allied with Epirus. There's no more easy fights. Unless... Unless I can take out both of them by, uh, by taking out a friend of theirs up here. Which is exactly what we're going to do. National Citizen Happiness sounds good to me. So let's get two of those uh, instead of our base metals. Import some precious metals. From the Carthaginians. How are they doing? Uh, pretty well. They're consolidated. Sicily's also consolidated and they've taken land off of Carthage. And we got ourselves the discipline from Heracles. Looks like Carthage has lost land over here. They must have lost the war. So do you only have 6,000 troops? So, hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to do all this. We've got good manpower at least. I'm going to get myself some marketplaces over here. For the simple fact that doing that I think is a good idea because of the population simulation speed. Oh, Bountiful Harvest. Gain 42 ducats, please. So the cool thing is, Macedon and Epirus are fighting. Which also means that all of Epirus' allies, like this lot, are fighting. Uh, so I am just going to take advantage of that. Because none of their troops are here. Whereas mine are. Looks like they're getting taken out by Macedon as well. Um, I just need to make sure these lands don't get taken by Macedon. I haven't given any access. Oh god, they can come from this direction. That kind of sucks. Oh, let's go send our navy around then. Religious advance. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Maybe we start stacking legion maintenance costs and, and just go for legion. If our levies are this small anyway, might as well, right? Let's do it. What's this war for? Take Aetolia. Isn't that what we want to do? Or how's that working? Oh, it's against those guys up north. Okay, and they just did it. Fair. Alright, well, we've secured this northern lot. Ooh, Epirus is, um, uh, well, Epirus doesn't exist anymore. I mean, that's convenient for me. And looks like after this, I can focus on, uh, yeah, I can focus on building a little bit. It's cool, because it's like, you build, and then you go to all a little bit, and then you build. Let's get some output. I wonder what our technology is in relation to others. Ahead of time. We actually are ahead of time, surprisingly. Oh, they can't cross this because of my navy. Damn, we we really should be should have been focusing on navy more. This is great. They physically can't do anything to stop us. We'll take them one by one. House of Pan, that's going to give us self-governed for a little while. As we take a call, uh, control of Arcadia and as many cities and villages, it's abundantly clear that we're better served by leaving them to govern themselves. Seems they're pleased with our agreement, knowing as long as they stay loyal to our cause, we'll leave them alone. Cool. So we to build an urban center over here. Alright, they're actually sending troops over now. Uh, clearly I was not as effective at stopping them from crossing as I thought. Not that it matters, really. Oh, now I've stopped them. They're all going to die. <laughs> I actually fought pretty well. Are they using skirmishing, so let's go shock. Where are you going? And how are you allowed to go there? Oh, another military tradition. Uh, Spearman offense, I think, is a, is a no-brainer, really. This gives us heavy infantry stuff, so yeah. Gonna annex you as well. Which is gonna give me Liberated the Temple of Zeus. So Omen Power plus 10% and Divine Sacrifice cost minus 10%. Ooh, Priest. Release Olympia as a feudatory. We get the following bonus as long as they are a feudatory. State religion happiness. We'll just take investments in Omen Power. I think that makes sense. The Olympians pleaded with us to rule themselves. Apparently, I've seen a sign from the Zion. It's the, 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 from the divine that's the will of the gods. Very convenient. As they are new to the shackles of our rule, we've promised them safety for now until things have settled down. It'll be an alliance that benefits both of our nations. Yeah, cool. Well, then coastlines, we get some Lacedonian freemen. So now we've got to rebuild Argos. Okay, I could do that. Conquering the Peloponnese. Easy. I can actually finish the mission now. Uh, I have the Megalopolis. Has a population of 25, city stats and civilization value. I mean, you're the closest thing, really. I'm going to switch this over to cultural assimilation. Over in Arcadia. 
Also, uh, let's check here. I don't necessarily know that it matters. Still, what else do I have to do? Uh, population at least 25, city status, civilization value at least 50. We can do that. It just needs a little bit, so it just needs a building, pretty much. Civilization value cannot be higher than 49. I mean, academy will do it, so let's build one of those, right? Or a marketplace. That's monthly, okay. Yeah, we want this one. Let's put this navy in two and put half there, so they can't get out of here. Why is Rome here? They're war with Epirus, okay. Oh, he's still alive! He's got 13 martial abilities, which is a lot. To be fair, our guy's pretty good as well with his, I think, 12? Yeah. Right, uh, you're dead. So, primary, yeah, it's you. Ugh. Um, suggest so training. He's plain speaking, crafty, vengeful, and thirdborn. You've got to get as much conquest as done as possible as this guy. So, there's the academy. So, now that should increase every month. I'm learning way more about this game. Okay, that should increase every month now. So, they've got a population of almost a thousand. We've got a third of that, man. But this is going to put us in direct contention with them. There's no doubt about it. They're not going to like what we're going to do here. Them being the Macedonians in this case. What I want is a strong neighbor and a good fort on Corinth. And then we've secured everything really around here. I'm just sort of ignoring uh, the Cretan Isles right now. Take this land. Oh, get the cup of Odysseus. Don't know what that means. Sweet. Okay. We're looking pretty good. Wait for this to tick up, and it should give us this. Permanently gets Arcadian Center. So we get no local tax, which is good. And then we need at least 15 people here. One more pop to be moved in. And we can grab rebuilding Argos. So Argos was once a strong adversary. Fighters for dominance of the Peloponnesus. I swear it's spelled differently every single time. We conquer the city and focus our efforts on rebuilding infrastructure. Nice. Okay, all the forts here are costing so much. Okay, at this point, we're going to assume that the Navy will protect us from the north. Or at least, you know, we have a fort there. Um, and then we've got forts here. That's a fort level two. Do we need all these forts? The next one's going to be Corinth. So we need a fort there and a fort there. Those, I'm happy with those two forts. Okay, the straight, but there's a fort there anyway. So these ones don't matter. Because the idea is we'll be able to push and take a fort before they can take any of ours. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Huh, why can't I complete this then? Uh, the Megalopolis is owned by me, has a population at least 25, city status, and a civilization value at least 50. Okay, for some reason, people just drained out of here. So let's start moving guys in. Let's spread it out a little bit. There we go, civilizing the valley. Give us more assimilation speed. Okay, there's no for its rural population, lack of major urban centers when compared to most other places in Greece with a lot of work. Megalopolis is now a new major city of Greece. Well done. Well done, guys. Fortifying Corinth. I'm going to skip this one as much as that sounds really cool. Because it needs at least three... We need to actually own it. That's a lot of people that have to fight that are just not strong enough to do yet. So I'm hoping the next mission will give me stuff. Finally achieve the goal of becoming the hegemon, hegemon of the, all the Peloponnesiuses. <laughs> After the defeating each of our ancient rivals. When the local adversary is crushed. The subject must start, must start looking past the waters. This is a great, like, you know, progression. So we're to conquer our ancient rivals. It's going to be the Macedonians. Yeah. Or the second Peloponnesian League. Oh, screw it. We've got to do this, right? Ending the Macedonian threat. Oh, God. Yeah, we have to just straight up go for them. The Barbar... What does that say? Macedonians have posed a threat for Greece for ages since the rise of Philip II and the Corinthian League. If we keep, keep uh, Greece free, let's put an end to their monarchy once for all. Uh, there's really only one thing for it then, isn't there? Or else I don't want to have to do it. I think we need to integrate the Cretans. Because that's going to double our levy sizes. Like, it just has to happen. Oh, they built a, a statue to me. It's very kind. Gets more British metals, and we get that bonus as well. Let's see. Martial advance. Are we actually exporting anything? We are. We're exporting a lot. Okay, so let me try this now. I want to switch this over to increasing our export value. Okay, 3.35. Did that just ruin my economy? Okay, how are we going to do this? We have another... Ooh. I don't know if I want to necessarily get too into this. Ah, screw it. We're going straight in. Uh, okay, we are going to get ourselves natural slave output. We have a lot of slaves. And I think 
Levies from Crete. And then... Oh, man. I don't know. Okay, I'm actually not gonna make myself a Legion. We're gonna get the Levies and just go from there. Because we wouldn't be able to get that many Legion. Like, many of the Legion. As much as it pains me, we might just have to go for, like, Mercenaries as well. You're a Fugitory, this guy? Seems kind of odd. I think the rest of them are either allied with... Yeah, they're all allied to Macedonia. Hmm. These guys are Feudatories of the Antigonids. They're actually smaller than me. Okay, I think I'm going to start cleaning up these tinier places. Because as much as I want to go to war with Macedon, it feels like kind of stupid when they have double my amount of pops, you know? And allies. Like, even if we are rocking the best army in the world, by a good margin, that seems stupid. You have loads of Feudatories and you're still at war with the Macedonians. Uh... And you're a feudatory of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, who are a stupidly heavy power. Oh god, Rome's getting a thing. Rome's actually in the north. I feel indecisive. That's never a good feeling. Rhodes feels like a good shout. Uh, and then I really don't have any other idea. Ah, uh, actually there's a bunch of little nations here I can fight. Now do I wait for this to trigger? I don't think I necessarily need to. More civic advances... Heavy infantry discipline sounds good to me. We have a good amount of them. Might as well wait for Cretan to progress a bit more. Don't know how many ships roads have. Alright, they're about to integrate them. There we go. They're now integrated. Now I have 15,000 troops. You know what? The temptation right now just to go for it. 15! And they're in a revolt. I don't know who Sardis is, but I'm going. I think I might go for him. Yeah, we're doing it. They got a legion here. All right, nice. He's inspired the army, so we get ourselves a bit more morale. What's our morale's five? What's his morale? Yeah, they start with not so much. Oh my god. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, I thought that there was a four in Corinth. I was clearly mistaken. Okay, I need to do a couple of things. I need some ships, and I'm just gonna get a bunch. I'm gonna spam a bunch of light ships because they're very, very cheap. Uh, to maintain. Tax offices aren't really worth it right now. We build a mine. That's great. What do you produce? Stone. Cool. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect the Tomek Kingdom to go after me. We we might need a few more ships. Let's take a chaos. So hopefully they'll go for me here. Yeah. Okay, I want to take I want to take this place first, and then we'll get rid of this. How many ships do you think the uh, the Tomek Kingdom has? I think it's a lot. I think it's probably a lot, right? The issue is we were importing most of our things from the Tom Hank Kingdom. Let's get some dates. God, I have to retool everything here. Get some heavy cavalry discipline. That's actually really good. That'll do us nicely. So he's taking back the land. So I can just sort of nip in and, uh... Yeah. Nip in and <laughs> stop this. Come on, start getting foundries, so... Start going that way. It's a navy I don't really want to fight. Okay, the Trojans are here. No, Troizen. <laughs> okay, we lost a lot of ships there. Did not get back in time. Yeah, realistically, it wasn't actually going to do much anyway. Come on, man. Just just take the goddamn province. Okay, we did it. Okay, they're landing 2,000 men. That's fine. Whew, for a second there, I did not think that they were going to give me uh, territory. Uh, really tracks access there. That's 2,000 men dead. All right. We cleared the Egyptian Greeks out of uh, out of Greece. Keep working towards those foundries. So we have basically like the Epirus side of things. Oh, there's more troops landing. Are they landing? They appear to. This is the uh, the ish. Jesus Christ! Do not leave port. That's a lot of ships. And that's those are the good ships as well. Okay, our navy is not as formidable as I sort of assumed. We're kind of leaving both these troops, which. Doesn't really make any sense to me, but okay. Wait, we're called the Besieger? That's so badass. The Besieger. Does that say something about stunningly talented? And his stunningly talented consort. Thratia. She's pretty talented. Can no longer import a bunch of stuff. Any more dates, damn it. What the hell's this? The Blemian Revolt? What? I want to be part of this. Uh, so I can't take money or anything, and I'm no way in hell am I gonna... Well, I mean... I could nick a couple of 
you think I could? If he got to me, I can get to him, right? Start with that. So Megara needs to give me military access. He has. So I go around here to here. Will you give me access? You will. Thank you. Are they literally stonks? They are, oh my god, it is. It's stonks. Alright, we should actually try and take that territory. Nope, they're landing 7,500 men. They immediately fight them. Oh my god. <laughs> you are not suited for combat in Greece. My god. And they're immediately stack wiped. We just killed thousands of them. Cool thing about Imperator Rome, that's now my siege. Because I have more troops. What? No, wait. Oh, it's not working like that. That sucks. Okay, well, that's that's the piece with the Macedonians, or the, half of the Macedonians. That works nicely. We've been taking Corinth. I was sitting there thinking, huh, what do I want to take from the Ptolemaic Egypt? And I started to march my troops over here, right? Because that feels obvious. Please don't just take Sparta. All right, we're going to rinse this lot. Uh, they're retreating somewhere. Oh, they're retreating back to the territory up here. That makes sense. Dude, our troops are actually phenomenal. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh god, Rome's declared war on me. <laughs> this is really not what I want to be seeing here. Okay, that land's going to get surrendered immediately. Uh, I don't know why I'm in this war. Let's get out of that one. 17,000 troops, oh my god. Okay, we're going to get out of this war. And now we need to gather everyone up. I don't know that we can fight Rome, to be honest. Another invention, centralized production could be good. Or heavy infantry discipline plus 5%. I do want a foundry. I really want a foundry. But I'm gonna go for this. I need literally anything I can get my hands on right now. Which is also why we're gonna go ahead and... Well, the army is already on high. Anything else I can do here? Don't think so. Let's attack the Romans. Jesus Christ, we're better than the Romans. The Romans, have, we have more heavy infantry than the Romans. They have a lot more variants to them, but... Okay, we've got some archers. I think I can do something with that over here. Could have sworn there's like archer discipline or something like that, or attack. Archer's discipline. Wild game, but we don't actually have any. Okay. Well, I can try. Let's get rid of... Fur. There's actually two wild game available. Okay. Get rid of these dates. Actually, let's get rid of the livestock one. Uh, we need the dates because that gives us money. All right, wild game. There you go. That's more archer's discipline right there. Okay. March onwards, take out, they have no leader. Please, sack like them. Nice. Now there are more men coming. I, I have to defend here. We need to land here on the 4th of October. That should be good. I really wish I had more forts. There we go. That's 500 dead. Do you think I can take, do you think I can liberate parts of Greece from Rome? Surely not. It's Rome. Oh, I could bloody try, right? If all of these troops unify, I'm screwed. They have so many. All right, just catch some of them at a time. Please be a stack wipe. Oh my god, we killed 6,000. I've just got to keep just trying to smash into them like this. So they're using bottleneck. Um, but I'm also using bottleneck. They'll probably change theirs. Oh, god. Ooh. Yeah, increase taxes. Sounds good. Uh, let's also... If you don't mind, we are going to kill a pig. That's an army on its own, I saw just then. If I can catch it here, yep. They got lack of morale, we could get lucky. At the very least, I do have to hit them. <gasps> Maybe? Oh, just about, just about they survived. We are destroying the Romans. They're going to appear here any second. There you go. That's farmlands for you. All right, that's stack wipe. That should be another stack wipe. And we'll march right back into that territory there. Oh, oh! It can be huge! Oh, so close. There's actually 10,000 men down south I need to deal with as well. I better could siege faster there. No, not anymore. Okay, now I'm being greedy. I can defend it. I can, like, leave the war at any time. But we can just nick a couple of provinces here. Oh, it's just heavy infantry. Oh, that was... That's... Hmm. Okay, he's landing over here on the city. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Yeah, they killed two people. Two pops, I should say. Not specifically two people. They have like four times our number, but they're just coming piecemeal. Yeah, they also destroyed my navy because it was sitting in that one province. So you're exiled. All right, one final push up the coast. They actually have a decent commander on this one. This is going to be a little bit more painful. 
Yeah, we took some damage after that one. Okay, we won our siege, but frankly, I... I don't think the, the Romans are doing too well either. But our, our manpower is, is gone. I don't see a world in which we push past this next one, so I think I want to peace out. We'll take these territories. Whoa. All right, now we need, we need to rest a little bit. Duffed up Rome off the Egyptians, off the Macedonians, like one after the other. We can't raise levies in Macedonia now, though. Uh, light infantry, though. Nothing too good. But the heavy infantry, they've been beautiful. So light infantry morale and uh, spin morale or spin and defense plus 5%. Could also get four defense. I want to go down this tree here, so we'll do that. All right, recover some manpower, and then we go after the Macedonians. Christ. I should go after the Boetians. I did not see them there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the Navy idea, like, didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. I'm saving my money for foundries, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not spending any of it. All right, go after Boetia. It's going to give us... Ooh, I don't want to fight Thrace. Uh, we might have to just go for Macedonia, you know? What if we fought them both at the same time? Could be an idea. Maybe we should get some Epirates in here, you know? <laughs> Increase the levy size, you know? For 10 years, they would be miserable. I got rid of them. I don't like the fact that Rome's just sitting there looking at me. Judging. I can't tell if Macedonia's winning this war. I think it is time, though. Let's do it. There's a lot of people we're going to be fighting. So... That's, yeah, that's, mm, that's a fight. 17,000 men. Who's have this 2,000? Um, I'd like it if they nipped in and just sort of stole provinces. That could be ideal. I'm <laughs> just marching all the way through his lands to try and steal as many provinces as possible. It's great. Success! <laughs> Do it again. Could, could we win this siege, please? Thank you. Sometimes I feel like the game can hear me. Ah, oh, look at that bravely. Look, did you see? Okay, let me let me make sure you know what happened there. They were sieging down this territory. They were going to get it. These guys threw themselves. I mean, threw themselves at it. Lost, but it did not matter because they uh, they sent them packing. They had to leave. Glorious, that. You know, I didn't even know these guys won in my own land. Like, uh, in my territories. Uh, I'm not actually going to hire these mercenaries, even though I don't particularly want to because, you know, Sparta and all that. It's going to cost me 13 a month. I mean, we could hold them for like a... Nah. Nah. That's expensive. So what's this war for? Where is this? Chalkidi. I don't know where that is. How are you spelling it? I, I know I declared war from it. Chalkidiki. Chalkidiki. Oh my god. Okay, we have to fire away up there. It's going to be a long-ass war, this. Foundry is nice. Okay, so we... Been mostly winning, but they just have so many tiny little stacks that just come and siege the cities behind us that I think it's honestly not worth me doing anything other than going straight for the war goal. Because also, I have my own tiny little stacks that I could use. Ooh, you retreated right into me? That's, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Wait, they, they retreated immediately again? Okay, Thrace is no longer at war. Which means Boetia is no longer at war. I imagine they don't have any manpower. Considering they've been fighting these massive wars for uh, God knows how long. Oh, I can get some of these guys out of here. Cool. Okay, we're having a second levy stack. It's great. Who are you fighting now? Who's this? Occupied by the Biesa Horde. Oh, the Barbarians. Yeah, you must have no troops then. Oh, we can actually siege with 2,000 men. Nice. Okay, you got 2k. You're going to go and siege down one of my forts. We're making money now. Uh... I'm going to pay extra for Fort Mason's then. And we've taken the Siege of Pella. That's a lot of troops. Let's kill them all. That was a 14. Yeah, look, 14. Damn. All right, we've got to deal with him. He's locked in, so please stack wipe him. He retreated. Who was that? Huh, so because I occupy it, it's going to release these things as an independent country. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to just take it myself. I don't know who this guy is, but he's got a great... Well, I was about to say he's got great um, Marshall, but he's um, he's he's dead now. So um, yeah, not not that great apparently. <laughs> All right, split these troops in half. There's no real threats coming my way, I don't think. So I'm gonna go collect up these cities, and then we'll get to siege the rest of these guys. 
It's been a slog of a war, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's been a rough one, but uh, here we are. Yeah, no, I'm not. Silver piece. I got so tempted to release these guys. Ten years of light cavalry discipline. We don't use any light cavalry. Pella's gonna become. We're gonna destroy Pella. We'll take control of the most important cities of the Macedonian region. With these cities under control, the ancient Macedonian monarchy will finally falter. Christ. How's just someone sixteen thousand troops? And he's getting rinsed. Oh my God. We are powerful. And with the wrong tactics. And in the mountains. Does not matter. Away from me. Lee, simply are not worthy. I think that's Macedonia done, to be honest. Uh, the game's suggesting I take all of these lands, but then I leave behind these ones. I don't want to do that. Uh, I want pretty borders. I'm sorry, I just do. As pretty as you can get, really, in, pretty, in, in Imperator Rome. Okay, that's that aggressive expansion. But we unify most of these areas. Ooh, decisions. Restore Larian uh, Ironworks, please. Do that. Okay, I get to complete it without actually releasing any nations. That's cool. But Macedon is no more, and Sparta... <laughs> Sparta's in a pretty good place. Look at the culture map mode. Uh, yeah, we're also in a really nice place uh, with this lot. We make a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, it's it's not even, not even close. Gain six stability, why not? We have high stability. Oh my god, the stability gets even better. <laughs> So yeah, Sparta is in a really nice place. I personally would like to continue this uh, campaign. I'd be happy to do so if that's what you want at home. Make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.